We need to get one last transmission out. I let the other settlements know what's coming. Do what I can. You two. I need eyes out across the valley. Head to the cliffs and take watch. I want to know the moment you see their helicopters. Yes, of course. If we see anything, we'll sound the horns. Go with God. Hmm. This vase must have been beautiful once, but someone's poked a few new holes in it and filled it with dirt. They must have used it to grow seedlings. We must keep them away from the Acropolis Tower, no matter the cost. We'll send the families into the catacombs below, but we have to keep the enemy engaged here, on this side of the valley. Jacob and his people are resilient. I'll give them that. Trinity is on their way. They could do with my help. And this atlas from the mural. If it really is some kind of map of the ruins, I've got to find it before Anna. If I don't, then all these deaths will have been in vain. And I can't have that on my conscience. One more day to prepare. But we can drive them out, can't we? You were there when we drove the Soviets out? People need to hear we can do it again. I didn't think we could do it then. And it took ten years. I need more wood for the fire. They needed most of the lumber to repair the guard towers. We'll have to make do with what we have. Well, if they need arrowheads for the battle, then I need more firewood. I've already cut plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more time you'll have left to forge. Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Hello. You're Jacob's guest. If you're looking for a way to help, they're repairing the guard towers just down the path. I mean no offense, but you don't look like you're ready for a turn on the anvil. Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths and births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plain passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better, or worse. Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get four, maybe five more sheets cut for the barricade. And then we'll have to find more. That's gonna be a problem. I dragged the last of those cylinders and they could take the cut. We never recovered from the Soviets. And now this. I made a mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia whom I thought I'd long forgotten, and it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment, 
even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child. And those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. I'll do what I can. I promise to keep them safe. What have I done? We should have been ready for this. We knew better, damn it. I just need a few dozen. He's making arrowheads. As many. He can before they arrive. I'd rather run out of nails, wouldn't you? You there. We could use some help if that's what you're here for. I'm here to help. What can I do? We're trying to fortify as many of these towers as we can. Most of them were badly damaged in last year's floods. We've got the repairs in hand, but I need some extra supplies from around the valley. If we can get these towers repaired, it'll give us an advantage over the invaders, and it'll help us reach the upper levels of the ruined towers. Will you help? I'll see what I can round up. Thank you. Bring them back to me when you found them. Do you have the supplies we need? Here you are. This should be everything you asked for. Good, good. Leave some of the supplies in the basket there, and we'll finish the repairs. But I need you to bring the rest of the supplies down to the tower by the lakeshore. When you're done, meet me back here. Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. We have told the people of the Valley City that we will attack at dawn, but we shall advance behind the Karash at moonrise. The captives we kept from the battles in the west will be our shields as we advance. Few survived the long march across the mountains, but those that live will serve their purpose to the Horde. The city sparkles, a gift not yet given. We will take what is ours and march home with our spoils. There's not enough. We have to make do. There has to be more. Send someone to go look. Send who exactly? Everyone's heading down to the lower village to prepare. I'm telling you, you have to improvise for now.
I see. It speaks of something hidden. Cutting coming. Slow. Gotta be careful. The rough on the deep sides. We should have kept the metal dry. Young ones, you scoffed at learning your letters, said it had nothing to do with hunting, but that's your first lesson. Everything is connected, and I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, here's your first assignment. Track, hunt, and bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. Hairs you can find anywhere, night or day, both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hairs in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees and rain will drive them into their burrows. And if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat. Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find Buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment.
followers of the Prophet fled to the east. The journey was difficult. Rivka joined the Prophet because her husband, a Rus nobleman, was a believer. When he died on the journey north, she stayed with the Prophet, pondering what her place was amongst the believers. When she saw the valley, she knew she had found her purpose. She dreamed what Katesh could be. She laid those dreams out to be built. It is because of Rivka that Katesh became not just beautiful, but livable.
Rivka, the architect. 